I'm Edie Lush. I'm here in the Hub Culture Studio. It's Davos 2022. Quite amazing to be here in the spring, right? Absolutely. I mean, look outside. I, I don't know that uh, I've ever seen something like this here in Davos before. Uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> so we've got Tatiana and Krista from Leaders on Purpose. Lovely to be with you. Oh, it's great to be here. Things have changed at Leaders on Purpose. What are you looking forward to this year? We've got a lot of things going. Well, as we know, we won't hit the SDGs if business doesn't transition. And our focus at Leaders on Purpose is really connecting or bringing together the skill and the will gap, basically, and helping businesses to transition to become more sustainable. We've got some exciting developments here in Davos. We're launching a purpose charter. What does it mean to be a purpose-centered business? This is something that you know we're hearing a lot of, but there's some confusion. So we, we've been galvanized leaders and bringing people together around what does it truly mean to transition and so we'll be launching some of that work here and uh, Tatiana can tell us about some of the other well so I, let's zoom out for a moment because I think we're in a, a unique moment in time where we have the the ongoing effects of the pandemic we have the war in Ukraine we have the impact of food insecurity uh, and inflation on the most vulnerable parts of the world the sustainable development goals have been set back years, and that was before the war in Ukraine. So the impetus on business has never been greater, um, but they also need some support and some guidance, right? Absolutely. And this is something um, that we all know. And we think now we need, obviously, to move from thought leadership to action leadership on these issues and expand our systemic understanding about how the causes and effects in the planetary system, in our society, in our value chains and food systems work um, here in Europe right now and also else globally. And this is something that we focus with leaders on purpose on with these multinational CEOs and more and more heads of state that if we talk about the purpose transition, it really means creating systems value. And it's actually a very logical thing to do, to have a business model and a transition strategy and innovations in place that are in benefit for society, planet, and the organization. However, it needs more collaboration and partnership that break down the silos that bring data and expertise and the technology solutions that are also right now at the forefront for transparency, impact measurement, et cetera, to understand where are we going, how is it related, and what can we do? And um, I mean, the time for action was already yesterday. Um, and so we are here to, to accelerate, to accelerate the shift. All right. What's your message for the people watching this video? What do you want them to do in order to make this action happen, uh, to, to support your efforts, but with the end goal that we actually do achieve the sustainable development goals within just eight years time? Yeah. If you haven't started, and I doubt that anybody watching this hasn't started, but if you haven't started, get started. If you have started, really be audacious. Don't hold back. You know, really set a goal that you think is a stretch goal, and you'll be amazed at the resources and the, the people that can come together to really support you. Um, I think that's one thing, you know, leverage the technology that we have. As Tatiana said, there's some remarkable things we're hearing about here, Web 3.0, the transition, um, the, the availability now of real trackable data to be able to coordinate our efforts. Um, I think to your point, we've been set back, but because there are, there are these technologies and there are things out there that can be leveraged at this point to, to move things forward, jump on that. All right. Final thought from you, Tatiana. It's time that we call in a non-incremental future and that we all come together and collaborate systemically and make it happen. Thank you very much. Right. You heard it right here from true leaders uh, on purpose. I'm Eli Lush, and we look forward to catching up with you guys around the world. Thank you. Thank you.